Hello and welcome to Organ Harvester, the second, the sequel to the show that nobody asked for. My name's GMT. Joining me, as ever, is your friendly neighborhood, Jahar. And I'm only here because Forty's doing something much more important. Go Nosfa. Uh, exciting day, exciting Sunday, uh, and in three weeks' time, we'll be having the third edition of Organ Harvester. Joel, thank you for running Organ Harvester. I know with, with the time and with the number of matches, it's easy to get confused about who's playing whom, what the stakes are, and why you should care. Exactly, and that's what we're here to do today. Build some of those stories going into Organ Grinder 3, but also taking a look back as we will now, to Organ Grinder 2. Organ Grinder 1, a smash success. Organ Grinder 2 kept that energy going. Let's, uh, let's take a look at our first match from what I believe was two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah. Time is a mystery. Wise Genie and Stellaz in Quake Champions. What can you say about this one, Jaha? It was, uh, I was really happy to see how many close matches we had in OG2. Uh, Wise Genie and Stellaz. Uh, Stellaz is like... Zero for two for playing and, and, and losing matches. So Wise Genie uh, currently technically our, our king of Quake champions. That might change this month. But uh, no, I was really happy to see the match and it was well played. I, I don't think there was a whole lot of real animosity here, even though I think Stellas is stepping up his game when it comes to his shit talk videos. Uh, but uh, no, it was, it was just good stuff. Good, solid entertainment. Good way to start off OG2. Yeah, and I was impressed by Wise Genie because this isn't his game. He was talking to me before about how, you know, he wanted to be in Diabotical. Wasn't really his choice to play QC, but compromised, won anyway. What more can you ask from a guy? Moving on then, in our second bout, it was none other than. <laughs> yeah. Wait for it. BPS and locked up. The Quake World Titans. This was probably <laughs> the headliner, right? Yeah, uh, and again, not to take anything away from Stellas and Wise Genie, but they were definitely the, the appetizer match. Uh, Organ Grinder uh, invites matches from all skill levels, and uh, this was at the other end of the spectrum, BPS and Loctar. They've played with each other, they've played against each other year in, year out for a very, very long time. I think we knew what maps we wanted to see from them. BPS, the god of Arawak, and Loctar, kind of the troll of, of DM4. And that's exactly what we got. I, I think uh, we saw a great showing. It could have been called scripted a few times just because like BPS was like on form for, for Airwalk and Loctar, same thing for DM4. Uh, we got to see a final in Skull, which was the real nail biter. And uh, that one did come down rather close. Uh, I think both players obviously haven't played the thousands of hours of the other maps that they have um, in Skull, but it was still good shit. Yeah, and I think always for me, Quake World's a lot of fun to watch. Such a different flavor, such a rich history, but please keep playing those maps that aren't ZTN, DM2, <laughs> DM4. DM6 is all right, but please. I want to see Skull. I want to see Bravado. Keep it coming. Uh, I'm certain because of the way that community is, the Quake World match is going to be very common in Organ Grinder in the future, and I'm very thankful for it. Moving on then. After we did see that titanic clash, we moved over to, drumroll please, <laughs> DK versus LS. I'm going to call it, this one wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of pussies. Uh, no, we, we got to see Reflex uh, splash onto it, and it was a little bit jarring after Quake World, but, uh, you know, flashy game, cool game, shiny game. Uh, DK had an opportunity during the first Organ Harvester to really uh, hype things up and and say what he was going to say against Alescu. And, and now that we saw the match, I, I kind of think I know why uh, he wasn't too hard on the guy. I think he was getting him ready for what was a, a sound thrashing. I don't know what Alescu did to uh, get hoodwinked into playing. I mean, I think everybody gets paid. That might be it, whether you win or <laughs> lose. Well, that I'm not going to say no to any to do challenge. With it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, look, it wasn't okay. For me, that match wasn't very organ grinder. Now, I understand not everybody hates each other, and some of us actually quite like each other. But DK and Aleski was lacking a little bit of drama. But it is important that we talk about that match because coming up a little bit later, we will be seeing. DK return in some form or rather than another. So just wait for oh, that. Well, to, 
to precede that, um, yeah, yeah it, it wasn't a very dramatic match by itself. Alescu took it 0-3 and was looking lost a lot of the time, which obviously begs a lot of questions. DK was very adamant that he wasn't noob bashing. He respected Alescu a lot, and Alescu had so many hours. Maybe they were metric hours or something like that, but um, there was a, a clear skill disparity. The And there's nothing wrong with doing that in an organ grinder. You can play whoever you want. You can get paid no matter what. It's great. Just know that if something like that happens, you have a target on your back. And that's exactly what DK did for himself. Good. Hold your horses. We'll get to it in just a bit. On Grinder 2, following the reflex, if I remember correctly, yeah, we went back to CPM. Dez versus Fi, uh, undoubtedly the most terrifying intro videos of them all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, what you would call Exhibit A and Exhibit B. Um, CPM players are, uh, I don't know, very close to, to Quake World players, only without the uh, the chill factor that comes with time and age and, and having a 401k. Uh, these guys uh, definitely had something to prove to each other. Again, uh, a really close game, if, I, if my memory serves. And by memory, I mean... I mean, Liquipedia. Thank you, uh, Mojo. <laughs> uh, yeah, went two one again. A very high scoring frags uh, either way, um, but a lot of shifts, a lot of turns and twists, um, and it could have come down either way, I think. But uh, Dez took it in the end, and similarly, he's going to be the guy to beat in CPM. Uh, in OG one, we had Oku and Deadbeat, and Oku's technically number two in the world, number one in the U.S. We'll have to see what happens during the first organ grinder land party, wink, wink. But uh, for now, Dez is the guy. He certainly is. The guy in CPM, the guy who forced your heart to blow out somebody's crotch. <laughs> what more could you want from a competitor? <laughs> hey, I saw a branding opportunity and I took it, all right? <laughs> it's a weird show. It's or a really weird organ show. Organ grinder, we will brand your dick. <laughs> this is uncomfortable for you i know the first organ harvester was all gmt talking about gmt dude i was funny <laughs> anyway <laughs> <laughs> and still right moving on <laughs> to more clown Quake. and steven no 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 david and matt oh oh geez okay i had this backwards Right. So yeah, this David was like Mac one of those matches it. that was backwards. And this was the one I like messed up the video on too. But yeah, David and Mac, um, somewhat analogous to BPS and Loctar, uh, two heavy hitters coming from Quake 2. Uh, Mac calling DM1 against David was uh, a surprise. Like David taking Q2R DM2, no doubt. That's his home. He's a god there. Uh, absolutely unstoppable force. Mac actually taking the edge though, which is a map that every competent Quake 2 player is strong on, um, was awesome. And I was happy to see it to go to uh, a third map uh quite so of course near and dear to your heart and i think actually quite underexposed to the general arena fps viewing community uh and so it was something quite novel i'm sure for a lot of people like i'm familiar with quake 2 i've watched some of the more famous games but it's not something i watch super regularly and of course it does have that completely different pace completely unique um jump mechanics things like this you know it, it's so cool that Organ Grinder has that breadth and that depth in terms of sort of the game stable. And yeah, Quake 2 is a lot of fun. Very different. Very, very rail oriented. But that's not a bad thing. As long as you don't have a wife currently. <laughs> I think uh, both of them are safe in that regard. But yeah, you're right. I mean, we've seen more Quake 4 just in Organ Grinder than we've seen in the last decade of, of Quake 4. Uh, it's, it's a weird event. Yeah, it, it must be said. Uh, but hey, anytime I get to shill for Quake 2, I'm happy to do so. Speaking of Quake 4, unless I've got the order wrong myself, we will see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there they are. Yeah! <laughs> Clown <laughs> and Esteban. St Steven, yeah. So Clown <laughs> had uh, given himself a bit of a name in Quake 4 and Organ Grinder 1, and he kept it for OG2, so... He's the one to challenge now if anybody wants to. Your your boy, the God Emperor, has not appeared yet. Where has he been? Where, when is he going to challenge Clown? <sighs> I think maybe Clown has to get a few more wins under his belt before uh, the before Lord he's worthy. and our Savior and also a deeply <laughs> disturbed man, <laughs> Paul Sanchez, 
descends upon us and graces us with his holy might. Um, like Clown and Stephen. By the way, Clown Clown has been very unhappy with me for calling him Clown. <laughs> so I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> Clown and Stephen did play Quake Four, and oh, it's, it's such a good dual game. Two organ grinders in a row. I think in terms of raw gameplay, it's kind of been the highlight. Um, I mean, a close second would be Diabolical on Crystal Cove. But other than that, it's all been Quake 4. Uh, and it's interesting because as much as there aren't that many Quake 4 players, they've all got a bit of personality and a bit of bite to them. And they seem genuinely quite like, like egotistical about their skills. And that's what this is all about. This is about yeah. hubris. This is about pride coming before a fall. This is about embarrassment and exile. And well, Quake 4 is embodying that beautifully right now. Before Organ Grinder, yeah, you go to any given Discord, any given channel, and there's a lot of just people yelling at each other, saying, you know, I can take you in this, I can take you in that, and never playing each other. And Organ Grinder hasn't actually helped that at all. I think it's gotten worse. Uh, but uh, for for what it's worth, the Quake 4 players have been putting their money where their mouth is. They've been very serious about it. They helped me out a lot uh, to the extent that they could for providing a better spectating experience. It still wasn't great, but like you said, Joel, uh, still a lot of fun even despite those issues. And uh, Klune is in a really good position. Now, I've got nothing bad to say against these guys. They, they showed up to play. They played great. Uh, and uh, not quite the, the three mapper. I mean, it was a bit of a stomp in... In, uh, oh no, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Steven actually took that. Yeah, so Clown, it's not the two time winner. Steven stole the crown. Too many numbers. Uh, but really good stuff. It's not like the widest map pool. It might even be about as narrow as, as Quake World, but uh, I do hope legitimately that we see more Quake 4 in the future. And I think we will. I think the, the community is there for it, and the viewers like it a lot. And we've already got a compelling story the rise and fall of Clune. And, uh, well, who knows? Maybe he'll be back and get another shot of the title. Maybe someone else is going to dethrone Steven. Who knows? Steven. I know what I don't know. It's our next match. <laughs> Cobalt and Moga. <laughs> right. We got to have some words here. Nobody told me the videos weren't a gag. I turn up <laughs> to cast some Quake champion. My advertisement to the QPL of my abilities. <laughs> and they're playing on an easy ball and two iPads, Jaha. <laughs> it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Uh, yeah, they waited a little bit longer than most to get their videos in. And when they did, A, I was thrilled to see it. It was real art, merging timelines, making short films, essentially. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I, I feel like they set a really high bar for everybody else, which, by the way... You'll, you'll see in some of the challenger videos today, uh, the bar for challenging somebody or making your shit talk video is hold your phone up to your face and talk into it for like 30 seconds. That's it. You don't have to go above and beyond. But these guys uh, went so far and beyond that, uh, that yeah, it caught Joel off guard. Uh, I wanted to cut a promo on 40 <laughs> right now. <laughs> Could do it. Yeah, it's that easy. It's so easy. We try to make things easy because, again, uh, getting you guys to do anything is, is fucking impossible. But uh, we go from uh, just really good matches and really solid stuff throughout the day. And then we finished off with, yeah, like you said, an easy ball and two, two iPads. And they ac actually uh, offered camera views. Um, which a lot of you in Discord were watching at the time of them playing with that hardware. And I, I didn't have the time to like set that up, but uh, super impressive, kind of terrifying. And those two phrases encapsulate everything I want Organ Grinder to be. More easy balls, more iPads, more, I don't know, whatever anachronistic controller you can use. Maybe some Donkey Kong bongos. I'm Hook sorry you up. didn't get the casting job, GMT. I'm sorry. I, no, it's, it's, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Doing great. Just living my life, you know. <laughs> uh, I loved it. <sighs> I, I got to sit back and watch. That was the best part of it. Um, hoping for more of that this uh, this month. I don't know who's going to be casting just yet. Uh, a lot of the usual suspects, but we'll try to get some unusual suspects in as well. Absolutely. So that was Organ Grinder 2. As I say, a slam dunk for success. And it's made us all very excited for Organ Grinder 3. And that's why we're here to look 
at the challenge videos. Let's kick off with Tone. Hey guys, my name is Tones, and I'm here to challenge Ritz to a Quake Champions Clan Arena 1v1. Ritz are playing Quake back in the 90s and took hiatus in 2005. And he just started playing again back in uh, just two months ago. I was introduced to Quake Champions by my friend Blunt and have been uh, hooked ever since. So um, this duel will be a case of old blood versus new blood. Here, I want to introduce you to Ritz. Or should I say Ritz Bits. Now, mind you, safety first. It's so wet. Oh, Jesus. See you in a month. Ooh. We're not legally liable if that goes <laughs> wrong, right? <laughs> So the way when I first got this video, I was like, oh, this is perfect. He's saying who he is, who he's challenging, making my life really easy. Easily the most well-spoken uh, uh, and well-enunciated challenge video we have. And I'm like, this is a perfect gentleman. Look at him. He's got combed hair and everything. And then he fucking <laughs> does a little bit of light arsony. You know, it's, it's great. <laughs> I was genuinely, I haven't seen that. <laughs> I, I had watched like the first 10 seconds. I was like, oh, it's a guy talking. Fine. I, I genuinely jumped a bit there. I was fucking terrified. <laughs> Don't burn yourselves for organ grinder, folks. Or do. <laughs> but like sign some sort of form beforehand so that we're not culpable. Organ uh, grinder so... takes no responsibility for anything ever. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely. Genuinely nothing. <laughs> Um, not even the success of Organ Grinder. That, that is also not our responsibility. It's up to you. Yeah. So that, I, that's Tones vs. Ritz did, in QC. Yeah, we have to he, touch on that. He did injure himself a little bit, I, I think, on that video. Um, but again, that's how you do it, minus the fire. But uh, good shit. Uh, like you said, new blood versus old blood. Uh, I've been interacting with Tones with uh, some Quake 2 stuff lately as well. Uh, really fun stuff. Love the uh, In the Keep shirt. Uh, cool guy all around ritz i haven't seen play too much but that's what we're here to do we're here to find out who these guys are and uh, get real close and personal now i do believe unless i misheard there was something about clan arena being said it's not gonna be clan arena yeah mm. I, I didn't make him redo the video but i was like mm, it's, it's gonna be a duel it's gonna be a duel pull up the bootstraps so you watch out where uh, an arsonist and a box of crackers Face off organ grinder three. That's going to be Quake Champions coming up. Moving swiftly on, then we've got, I know to you, quite a familiar face. Let's uh, get into our next intro. So I'm on my way to work this morning. I got to thinking about organ grinder part three coming out, getting to call out, you know, who you want to fight. I was thinking about all the people that I might have rubbed the wrong way throughout the years, you know, with me being incredibly misunderstood. Might have said the wrong thing, done the wrong thing, and uh, pissed somebody off. You know, I don't know, that's on them, not me. And then I got to thinking, who would I want to call out? For every antagonist, there has to be a protagonist. For every supervillain, a superhero. And then it dawned on me. Mr. Fucking Nice Guy. Everyone's best buddy. You know, the cheerful dude. The eternal optimistic motherfucker. Move to the max. I'm calling you out. I want to see you in the arena. I want to take that ass, buddy. I'm going to take that ass to fucking Rocket Town. If you're man enough, let me know. <laughs> I don't think that's the first time he's ever used the phrase, take that ass to Rocket Town. <laughs> he just means he's going to take him on a holiday to Cape Canaveral. That's all it is. <laughs> okay. uh, <laughs> uh, at least he's self-aware. He has made a lot of enemies over the over the past uh, several years. He is well known in the QuakeCon community. Uh, he was very fond of wearing the Pedal Bear costume, which was all fun and games until the incident, and then uh, the the costume got handed to somebody else. Uh, ironically enough, given the videos we've seen of Dez and Fine everybody else. Uh, this is the man most likely to be escorted out of a LAN party in handcuffs. Uh, and I'm talking about Ahab here, not Boov. Boov 
we, we keep having organ grinders where people who are directly on our payroll keep uh, keep ending up in matches. But uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? So can we? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, but Boov, yeah, he has been providing awesome uh, voiceover, so he's been working out his lungs, working out his uh, throat. Uh, now he's got to get his fingers engaged, so I, I honestly have no idea how that's going to go. Uh, Ahab is a Quake Live shitter, and so is Boov. Um, I, I think there will be some money to put on this match. I might do so, but uh, as far as predictions go, I have none. Yeah, me neither. Uh, and Quake Live finally making an appearance. I think to some people it's kind of a surprise. It's taken three organ grinders. Um, but probably something we're going to see a fair bit of in the future. I, I'm really racking my brain trying to come up with a Moby Dick joke, and I just can't manage it. <laughs> I'm just trying so hard. It's all right. Uh, There's I mean... something in there. I... There's there's two tryhards involved in this matchup anyway. We don't need a third. I, I think you have the easier job. Well, from Quake Live at a sedentary pace, we move over to CPM. And this is, I think, the most depressing thing I've seen this year. You, you are better in every aspect of this life than me. You are taller than me. You are younger than me. You are stronger than me. You are clever than me, right? I'm like old model for you. So, last thing I have, last thing I have, this is motherfucking, this motherfucking uh, video game, this CPMA, this old video game, this is last thing where I can be a better than you, but you want to, to humiliate me in, in every aspect, in everything, you want me to, you want me to have nothing, you want to take everything from me, you want me to have nothing, so this CPMA game, this is my last bastion, and I will protect <laughs> my bastion, my last bastion, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> there's an extended cut that's even worse <laughs> not worse and bad like it's just sad <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me really upset <laughs> broadcast from uh live from from a cave somewhere in saudi arabia i uh, no, actually, I have to give special credit to him. So he made that video before we made the open call for people to make <laughs> videos. He is a visionary. He's ahead of the curve. Uh, he's inspiring. And yeah, there is a longer cut of that. That's actually like the way, way <laughs> cut down. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he is challenging Saren. It's going to be a game of, uh, of CPM. And it sounds like there's some emo emotions writing on this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is Last Bastion of Hope. <laughs> it's all he's got. I can't. If he loses, oh god, I can't take it. I'm glad I'm not commentating because it's just <laughs> I genuinely yeah. be too upset. We will be having, of course, all of our challengers and challenges having response videos and their usual shit talk. This is just mm. the first taste. Uh, so now that the stage has been set for Saren to uh, put together a good video and hopefully put together a good game. Dude, I mean, there's so many angles he could go with as well. He could just reply like, yeah, hi, I'm better than you in all those ways. I just, <laughs> that would be enough. Just, he's really been teed up for that. Right, we are nearing the halfway mark of our show. We're about to go to a break, but first, not for Organ Grinder 3, but perhaps in the future, we've got to hear from Saren. I challenge Des to a CPM duel. Now that I've banished his demonic consorts, the Satan worshipper is vulnerable. The Satan worshipper is vulnerable. <laughs> it's not a line we expected to hear. <laughs> so, yeah, one of the things we also didn't expect was we, we had kind of a menage a, a, a triangle of of challenges here um and i really didn't know how to how to deal with that fortunately they kind of sorted out amongst amongst themselves we're gonna be seeing luno and uh and Saren go head to head in og3 og4 uh des has some time to uh, prepare himself um he's currently riding high in uh in cpm we'll have to see how that changes but uh 
The devil worshipper is vulnerable. Genuinely the best video anybody has made for organ grinder, so in good. my opinion. He sent um, it to me and said, I don't know if this is all right, maybe slightly blasphemous. And I was honestly, for a moment, I was like, do I want to click on this? It was fine. It was fine. Compared the to FBI Death's Dick. has not been involved this time, which is <laughs> fantastic. We do like to avoid the Bureau. That is so, number yeah. two that involves fire. <laughs> That's true. Lots of fire these days. What's going on? A little bit I'd... safer. Anyway, I thought that was superb. I'm really looking forward to this big brawl we have brewing in uh, CPM. A lot of good names. Not real animosity, but like they're a storyline. People are actually developing the narrative in a nice and coherent, well, sort of coherent, but in a nice way. It's fantastic stuff and what Organ Grinder is all about. That will be us for now. We're going to go to a couple of minutes for a break, and then we'll be back with the rest of the challenge video. Welcome to Doombringer. Only the mighty shall prevail. Battle foes through different arenas. Conquer or be conquered. A high octane FPS cavalry for the distinguished game, the connoisseur's choice. You have to realize, uh, hello. as soon as you give us your photo, we have the rights <laughs> to you forever. <laughs>
Your image rights are belong to us. If Machinima could do it, so could we. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Thank you, Jake, for that for that very <laughs> warm shout out. But yes, please do subscribe to our Patreon. I'm going to sound more desperate over time, uh, just because. Uh, yeah, the the prize pools go directly into the prize pool. All the donations during the show. Uh, the Patreon helps keep us expanding the show, uh, getting more artists on board. Um, we're all adults now, unfortunately, so we uh, we have limited time, and we want to spend more of it playing video games like we're still twelve. That's that's the dream. That's the real Apparently dream. So. But uh, and fantastic Doombringer trailer, GMT. It must be said. Just when he didn't think the show could get any more GMT centric, there he is again. Thank you, thank you. I try my best. Right, we are back here in part two of Organ Harvester 2, and we have some more challenges. So preview, review, and turn into sinew. Here's Wise Genie. My name is Wise Genie. I want to challenge Cher Machila. Cher Andrew Machila. He's one of the best challenger and big champions. Good player, good guy. I really want to fight him. So, I can't play computer games more than 15 minutes per day because Momo fought and my mom said that uh, computer games destroy my life. And just, I heard that Jehar and Fruity Lion said that my shop was bad. Yes, my shop not bad, I know. And you know, I just practice my shop outside of home, outside of computer. Just look, I just take all needs, hitbox of diabetical, similar like in diabetical degree. Finger, it's my shop, my big shop. It's like 50%. Just I take and just do this. Mirroring, long straights, short straights, short straights. Long strafes, short strafes, and I do that every day. I think everyone should do that. Everyone, it's every, uh, it's very really good practice. So, so, yes. it's it's really will be interesting match. Uh, I hope you will enjoy. It's Chera, it's me, Virginia. Well done. Well done. Good ball control there. He's not actually standing that far away. He's just not a very big person. He's just small. Uh, but no, I have to appreciate it uh, for Wise Genie sticking his neck out there, which in his case is a lot to risk. Uh, he's challenging Chera, and... Uh, yeah, I, I was hunting around for ways to do auto subtitles there. Uh, he was spitting a lot of information, a lot of statistics, a lot of numbers. I didn't get much of it, I'll be, I'll be honest. Uh, but he's going to be playing some diabolical stuff, so, and, and no, no Crystal Coves. So. Hopefully. So What's Diabolical is his game of choice. Uh, it's the one that he's best at, and Chera has been, like, Chera's just sub-top level in that. Like, he's not really threatening for wins, grand finals, even semi-finals. But he's, like, of one of the really, I would say, 10 or so players that are close to being in that level that could make the jump up. And Wise Genie as well. Uh, that's, in my mind, a very good map in terms of the skill levels are quite even. Uh, and they're both quite committed to the game, even if it is only 15 minutes at a time. Uh, Wise Genie also, just in my experience, a really nice guy. So that always helps. Yeah, nice. yeah, absolutely. We we do have nice people on here. We have a good mix of uh, people who are on several government lists and people who are genuinely good, kind people. It's, that's just the way the Quake community is. It sure is. It sure is. That's Wise Genie vs. Chara. It should be a good one. Coming up in Organ Grinder 3. Still Next not sure which up. one you are, GMT. Not sure which one I am? Yeah. Oh, on a list? Or, oh, right. Not well, weirdly enough, I left school when it was when I was like illegally young, and I have not paid tax since, so I'm basically not in the system. Organ grinder takes responsibility for nothing, and no one, <laughs> and no one. Swiftly <laughs> moving on, <laughs> if you pull Swift. a Jimmy Carr on us, <laughs> <laughs> it's Skulker. 
It's Skulker. It's the balls. So many balls. Herb has something against clowns, apparently. Well, I think he has something against various different ideas and such and so forth. It's really just a game. You should take it easy. Uh, I've been paid. I think I've been paid good money to take him out off the face of the planet. <laughs> the contract is sealed. So I'm going to break every bone in his body and send him oh. to hell. Jesus. <laughs> we... Things escalated. <laughs> yeah, hang about. I, I thought it was just a video game. We should chill out. And then he's all about breaking bones and murdering people and sending them across the river state. Was... Wait, what? That's the Quake World community for you. That's that's just how it is. Uh, these are both players, uh, Skulker and EB, a.k.a. Dope Skills, who in the past has done a lot of admin work, a lot of software work for the Quake World community. Great guy. Uh, in... These latter years, however, they've been spending most of their time just shitting around on Discord, just yelling at each other, like, really loudly. Um, so I'm glad that this match is happening. I'm glad that uh, that they're putting their money where their mouth is. I hope EB is ready for it. Uh, Skulker himself has been playing more recently, so it's time to practice dope skills. It's time. And Get safe to say, the contract is sealed. <laughs> Whatever that means. Could... I really hope that's just, like, illustrative speech. We get an actual murder on organ grind. It's gonna be a Netflix series. It's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to it. All right, I think I think we might be now upon the highlight of the show because I have not seen this next video. And in fact, our producer advised that I not watch it until now. But it's someone I know quite well. It's Ramagan. Greetings, everyone. Jaron here on behalf of Ramagan. I'm here to inform DK that he's been challenged in Reflex Arena for the Organ Grinder by Tasty Splint TV. No dodging. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> he's got big man Tyrone. Yes. <laughs> We're in the big leagues now, boys. <laughs> the number of people on the planet who have said Tasty Splint TV, it's gone up by one. Double. I don't really took like what twenty bucks, something like that. I hope Big Man Tyrone's doing all right. He used to be all the rage, and I haven't seen him in a while. I don't know if business dried up. Maybe well, it did. Maybe cameos ruined his business. Try Sabby Sabby. Yeah, because yeah. Alec Baldwin doesn't need the eight hundred bucks you pay him to say hello. But Big Man Tyrone probably does. I, I did recently go through the entire repository of who's on on uh, cameo and it's fascinating um there there might yeah. be a few voices we can get on here kareem uh, abdul jabbar yeah that's one of them gilbert Fantastic. Gottfried is more what i was thinking <laughs> i don't know i would take the most consistent and really reliable player in nba history myself that's just me i mean it would it would carry on the ball theme i don't know what what the juggling was uh before but um yeah i, I think um I think Ramagan's got a lot of balls too. I know he was hiding behind the face of Tyrone, but uh, this is going to be a uh, a match in in reflex. It's going to be good stuff. Uh, again, DK, he's got a target on his back. I even if you didn't intend for this to happen, even if you're utterly sincere in insisting that you just wanted to have fun, man, uh, this is where it turns into life or death. The contract is sealed. Uh, no much. dodging. Yeah. So. Uh... And we're going back to the second most disappointing Arena FPS in history, uh, Reflex, where Rama has a history uh, of being very good, winning almost every tournament he's ever entered, and then running most of those tournaments, and putting up the prize money, and creating an entirely different rule set and physics type for the game with different balance numbers. So he's an, he's an interesting character. And DK, of course, we saw in the last organ grinder, also on the last organ harvester, thank you for coming on that. Um, this is, I think, maybe the match of all of them so far that has the most genuine bad blood. Uh, and if there isn't before the match, there certainly will be afterwards. Um, we're going to, once and for all, determine who owns Reflex.
Who knew it was so competitive? Who knew? <laughs> Three people. It's more than I expect. <laughs> so from games that came out and then didn't really do much to games that are about to come out and will set the world alight. Let's hear from Prodigy. Hey, Jahar. Prodigy here. Um, I've heard you're still looking for some Doombringer games for Organ Grinder 3. Um, I think it's quite a nice game and a showcase match would be fun this time. Um, Sixty Woofy called me a noob, so I guess I'll challenge him for a game. And yeah, I'm waiting for his response, I guess. See ya. I think my favorite so part of that was the and yeah. Just, <laughs> I was like, he called me a noob, yeah. so I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy him. <laughs> yeah, I I mean it makes sense. <laughs> Straightforward to the point. I like it. Prodigy versus yeah. sexy waffle. Coming up. Well, can we to actually no, look, I was gonna do the whole spiel about what's happening. Why is he called sexy waffle? What do you know, know how many times I mistyped that in our Google document? So I'm like, wait, does he mean sexy waffle? Does he mean sexy with an S? Do you mean sexy with one X? No, it's two X's. <sighs> and then waffle, not waffle, not whiffle, not any word, but waffle. It is would it be it's awful for God me to tell it. you right now that it is indeed woofy. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I still like the name sexy waffle oh. for what it's worth. <laughs> I still like it. Uh, yeah. If we ever get to see Clune versus Sexy Waffle, that'll be that'll be a nice day. Oh, you can't hear me right now. Yeah, it was that disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Joel. <laughs> Not even good at this. Not even good at the fucking. Host How many in times did you, did you type Sexy Waffle? <laughs> I think Sexy Waffles were like a, a fad toy in the late '80s. Oh, plush dinosaurs or something. I wish I was in my late 80s, so I would fucking die soon. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this fella, you're going to love this <laughs> next one. GMT, fuck your vegan food trucks, fuck your favorite map, and fuck you. I'm going to give Organ Grinder another thing in common Friday Night Fights. Your ass getting kicked as a staple of the show. First, you played Jake in that boring ass child game and lost. Twice. In Doomer, you don't have an excuse. You show the game everywhere you go. I'm sure after you lose, you're gonna start shit talking this game too. You and me, EU servers, live on stream. EU servers, even. So, again, you won't be available this upcoming Organ Grinder, so this is gonna have to wait until OG4. But uh, are you ready, Joel? Look, the problem is, Recky's quite good, and the real <laughs> conceit of Doombringer has been that I've been the second or third best player, because I'm one of six players, and I've been playing for five years, whereas Recky has, like, taken games off of Vigilante, and we've both taken games off of Zorakor, to be fair, but he's also beaten Sib in Quake Champions before, like, this is an actual gamer, and he's young, and he can code, and he's fixed the game in so many ways, and honestly it just makes me feel inadequate, and I'm not too sure that's the correct mindset going into my bout. To temp temper your timidity just a little bit, uh, he did invite you to play on EU servers, which uh, yeah. usually isn't something we really do for OG, but it's, it's what he invited you to do, so that might make things a little bit tougher on him. Bear in mind, he is the one single-handedly programming the NAT code for Doombringer, so... Yeah. The collusion runs deep in and amongst organ grinder uh, Illuminati, but uh, I think you got to do it. I mean, look, when have I ever let the fans down, apart from versus Jake that first time, and against Jake that second time, and the Doombringer gauntlet, and that 2v2 match we did? Apart from all of those times, when have I ever disappointed? There's always room for one more. If there's... Anything I am, it's consistent. That I just is... didn't realize that Reki was as uh, devastatingly handsome as he is. So. I know, right? What a good-looking match. Me and him. Putting the grinder back in organ grinder, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Come on, hair. B game. <laughs> if you B -game. insist. That's our show. That's us. That's our show. We're, we're That's done. Us. That's Organ Harvester 2. Organ Grinder 3. When is it, Jaha? Organ Grinder 3 is going to be on May 15th. Uh, you can expect to see a lot of things coming come around the bend here pretty soon. We're going to be uh, bolstering out the show with a little bit more explanation of how these games work. Uh, always wanting to add on to it, always wanting to add more context to these matches. In order to help that out, there is also going to be a website pretty soon. Uh, it'll allow you to uh, view rankings, uh, direct people to go there to submit their challenge videos, and uh, buy stuff, because that's kind of cool too. Uh, but no, it, we're, we're trying to flesh this out. This is a real thing! This is the most real thing Tasty Spleen TV has ever done. So here we are. Here we are, and where you should go right now is to patreon.com forward slash Tasty Spleen TV. It'll be in the chat. It'll be on screen. There you go. Go over that. Help support Organ Grinder because it's a wonderful thing, and, uh, you know, more money, generally good. Yeah. It's going to incentivize people to do good work rather than really phoning it in like I have been so far. <laughs> so, and and I will do some diligence to make sure that the Patreon is worth it for those who chip in. But uh, you know, like one dollar, five dollars, it all adds up. It's all a big deal, especially for us. So we're going from zero budget to slightly over zero budget, and people like Joel are expensive. So uh, we need to keep doing that. Really am. Like somebody's mother. Anyway. That is it. That is Organ Harvester 2. We will be back with Organ Grinder in just a few weeks. Uh, why don't you treat yourself to some QPL with some of our friends on the broadcast team, and we will see you very soon. Bye-bye.